No one should do life alone. Business leaders, business owners pour themselves in to their businesses, usually pouring, if they're good, they're pouring their everything into their team and you can't pour out of an empty cup. You have to fill your cup. You can fill your cup with financial statements, impacts, challenges that you're navigating, or you can fill your cup with his word, his presence, his spirit, through other people encouraging, edifying, sharing, and this helps you step away and fill your cup differently. Um, but he's faithful and he's got favor for us and he wants to use the gifts and talents you have and then he wants to give you more when you're faithful. And part of my mission, personally and professionally, is serving others. So you would think leading and managing and growing in a corporation, you get lots of training. I have lots of degrees and things and I've been to lots of conferences, I've taught conferences. You would think I have all this stuff I could teach. And so I thought, oh, this will be nice. This will be good, but I didn't expect to take my first sabbatical. I'd never taken a sabbatical. I had devotions, I had daily time with the Lord, I pray, but I'd never just gone and said, it's me and you, Lord, for a couple days. That was a first. I learned that through Kingdom Business Leaders. I don't have a group of business leaders to be vulnerable with. It's pretty lonely when you think about it, when you lead a lot of people. Uh, I have my husband, my family, pastoral staff, whatever, you know, you have that but I don't have Christian business leaders in the community that we can support one another with his purpose in mind. That's different. That was special. That's something that you can't duplicate without a kingdom business leader type experience. So that was a special small group. It's meant a lot to me. It helped my husband and I figure out our life purpose in terms of who we're called to serve. Believe it or not, you would think we kind of, we had no idea. Big part of leadership is serving someone else to a higher calling, a higher level. And that group brought that clarity to me. And you know, the people in that group are so loving and so sweet. And I don't think any of us expected what we'd get out of it, but it's so special. What came that I wouldn't go without it. I mean, I, it's gonna be a part of what I do and how I do it.